So you got a couple of things in your mental toughness toolbox right? that we're going to give you guys. One is called the shooter's mentality. It comes from basketball. True story. Michael Jordan goes out and he's playing on, let's say, a Monday night. He's playing against one of the teams in his division. The whole crowd is there and he goes out and he makes his first 10 shots in a row. Swish, swish, swish. The crowd is going crazy. Players are running up and down the court, pumping their fists. What's Michael Jordan thinking? This is great. Best night ever. This is great. This couldn't be better. What else are you thinking? Give me the ball. I'm on fire. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Right? Well, as you guys know, in sports like basketball and baseball, sometimes teams play in a series, right? So the next night he goes out. He's playing against the same team. A lot of the same people in the stands because they're season ticket holders. And the experience at the beginning of the game is entirely different. Instead of making his first 10, he actually misses his first 10. Hits the backboard, bricks it, air ball, terrible, right? What's he thinking? This is great. Pass me the ball. Okay. Let's go to someone who hasn't been in this before. What's he thinking? Okay. He's Michael Jordan. What's he thinking? Pass me the ball. This is perfect. This couldn't be better. I missed 10 in a row. There's no way I can miss 11. Give me the ball. Why does he think that? Because he's a disciplined thinker. He's mentally tough. He's more mentally tough than everyone who's ever played the game, which is why we know his name's Michael Jordan. Right? And that's the whole point. When he made 10 in a row, statistically speaking, did he have a higher likelihood of making 11 or missing one? Missing one. When he missed 10 in a row, statistically speaking, did he have a higher likelihood of missing again or maybe making one? Making one. So he understands that with the shooter's mentality, it's all, give me the ball, give me the ball, give me the ball. This is perfect. This couldn't be better. Give me the ball. And when you guys are on the golf course, you need to think the same way. You need to see what you want. Create an image of your exact ball flight. You need to think in a way that gets you pumped where you say to yourself, this is perfect. This couldn't be better. I cannot wait to pull the trigger. And then whatever happens, it's not good or bad. It's just over there. It's just over there. What do you say to yourself? Give me the ball. Give me another shot. Boom. Just over there. Give me the ball. Give me another shot. Boom. That's how you shoot low rounds in golf and in life. That's how you get through four hours of golf in a tournament situation and actually win. When you're living in the present, when you always want the ball, when you see everything not as good or bad, but as an opportunity to be amazing. Catch on replace, we already talked about that. We're going to do that tomorrow with the paper clips. Nothing is good or bad until you decide it. Really, really powerful stuff. All right, so when you guys go back to your rooms, you're going to answer your genie question, and you're going to write something down that is Absolutely fantastic and huge. What's the root of the word fantastic? Nice. Fantasy. Fantasy. <laughs> exactly. From there, you're going to take immediate action because we now know that the how is inherent within the what. I'm going to talk to you about taking immediate action. Once you take action, you have to think in a way that keeps you on the path, which is realizing that nothing is good or bad until you decide it. And the more you feel good based on your thoughts, the more likely you are to make this dream become a reality. Final thing is who you hang with, how you plan, and what it means to you. So who here has a winner's circle? Some people in your life that no matter what you do, no matter what you say, they're going to be right behind you saying, go for it, go for it, go for it. Okay. Who here hangs out with some people that when you have a bright idea and you say, I'm going to do this, they go, what are you talking about? Yeah, guess what? Get rid of them, right? Okay, because they're not the winner's circle. They are holding you back. And if you start believing what they're saying, it's not going to happen for you. How you plan, what's the lesson? So let's say we're playing a round of golf. When you play 18 holes, when you walk up 18, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to acknowledge something that you did amazing. Made a putt, had a great chip, hit a good drive. If you can't think of anything that's golf related, 
as it relates to performance, maybe give yourself a pat on the back for just remembering to bring enough tees. All right? First thing is acknowledging something you did great. The next thing you do is you say to yourself, what's the lesson from today's round? So it might be I need to work on my attitude. Maybe it's I need to work on my sand shots. Maybe it's I need to work on my alignment or my short putting. Yeah, so once you determine what the lesson is, that becomes what you're going to work on the next time you go to the course. What it means to you, accountability? That basically means that Whatever your dream is, whether it's golf related or not, it has to be your dream and not somebody else's. It can't be your parents, it can't be your brothers or sisters, it's got to be yours. That's the only way it's going to come true in a manner that's authentic and makes you feel good. So if you've got this goal, you've got to look yourself in the mirror at the end of the day. And you've got to have a moment with yourself where you say to yourself, did I get it done? Whatever it is, did I get it done? Did I do everything today to make this dream, golf related or other, become reality? And if the answer is no, guess what? Try again tomorrow. Right? It's okay to not get it done as long as you keep focused on what you, what you want. One thing we always say around here is a true friend never gets in your way unless you happen to be going down. That's all about, all about the winner's circle.